this video. This video is going to be over graphing a straight line using an XY table. Alright, why would we want to use an XY table to graph a line? Well, algebra allows us to use math to describe the relationship between numbers, and graphing is an easy way to visually show these relationships. Sometimes data can be very overwhelming. For instance, if you have 100 pieces of data on a data chart, finding that relationship between those numbers could be very, very difficult. Just look, being able to look at those numbers and notice how they correlate together um, is very difficult. But when you read a long list, um, and when you read a long list, they lose their meaning. But if you use a graph, that will allow people to quickly see the relationship between numbers without studying and studying and studying and getting very confused and very aggravated. So graphing is a very easy and quick way to um, show the relationship between numbers. And so, first of all, how are we going to get these points to graph? Because we don't have any points yet. Well, when an equation is already known, one way to graph a line is to generate a set of points that lie on that line. You're going to plot them and then you connect them to form a line. And so the way we're going to be able to find out these points is we're going to use an XY table because when you have a point, it's an XY point because you have an X point and a Y point um, and you have X and Y variables in an equation so we can find the X and Y points. All right, so the steps we're going to follow is first we're going to copy the problem down. We're going to isolate the y if needed, so we're going to um, solve for y. Then we're going to set up an xy table using three or more values for x. We're going to calculate the value, we're going to, and then we're going to um, figure out what the xy point is, and we're going to graph them on the line. So let's begin. All right, well, if, if this is our xy table, you see I just made a table with one side being the x's, so um, I have the x's on this side, and I, then I'm going to have the equation on this side. So we're going, so if this is going to be our x point over here, if this is our x point, this is going to be our y point. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we picked an x point here. You, um, you can also pick negative numbers if you'd like. It's probably more efficient if you do choose negative numbers. Um, we're going to choose some points here, and we're going to take this x number, and we're going to substitute it into our x value here. And then once you substitute the x value in, that will equal y, so we're going to have our y point. So that is what we're going to do. Alright, so if our x is 0, we're going to substitute our 0 in, so y equals 2 times 0 minus 3. We're going to substitute our y in. y equals 2 times y minus 3. Substitute our 2 in. We're going to substitute our 3 in. Now, you do not need to use all four of these points. You can use three of the points. So you can use 0, 1, 2. You can use negative 1, 1, 2. You can use any three points. I'm just going to show you four points here. So then you're just going to solve here. So 2 times 0 is 0. And then 0 minus 3 is negative 3. y equals 2 times 1, which is 2. 2 minus 3, negative 1. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1, and 2 times 3 is 6, 6 minus 3 is 3. Now, remember, if you have a number and then a parenthesis, that means to multiply, and that's what we did. We multiplied these numbers together. So now we have our x point, which is 0, and our y point, which is negative 3. Our x point, which is 1. Our y is negative 1. x is 2. y is 1. x is 3. y is 3. So now we have our x, y points. 
Now, what I like to do is, um, you don't need to do this step, but I always like to do this step. I always go ahead and rewrite this, or I highlight it on my original chart. So now I can see easily what my XY coordinates are. And then I like to rewrite them. So we're going to, our first point is 0, negative 3. Our second point is 1, negative 1, 2, 1, and our last point is 3, 3. So those are the points we're going to plot on our graph to get our line. So now I just went ahead and just did 0, 1, and 2 instead of 0, 1, 2, 3. So we're going to plot our point 0, 3. Remember you need to start at the origin, which is 0. Our x point and our y point Remember, our x goes over and our y goes up. Okay, so our x is 0 and our y is negative 3, so we don't have to go anywhere for our x, so it's just 0. Then our y is negative 3. 1, 2, 3. That's our first point. Our next point is 1, negative 1, so on the x-axis we're going to go over 1 and then down 1. Okay, and now let's point, uh, plot the last point. The last point is 2, 1. So we're going to start at 0 and go over 2, up 1. There's our three points. So we're just going to take a pencil. I sometimes like to take a piece of paper, a straight edge, um, like the straight end of a piece of paper, and line my dots up. So we're going to draw our line. Not very good at that. Okay, and there we have just graphed the equation y equals 2x minus 3. So this is what that equation looks like. So this is y equals 2x minus 3. It's as simple as that. Okay, let's try another one. This equation is y equals 3x plus 2. So we're just going to pick some points for um, our coordinates. So I'm just going to put 0, 1, and 2. We're going to go ahead and substitute our x coordinate um, into our equation. So y equals 3 times 0 plus 2. y equals 3, whoops, we'll just do it this way, times 1 plus 2 and y equals 3 times 2 plus 2. So 3 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 3 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. So now to make our points, our first point is 0, 2. Our second point is 1, 5. Our third point is 2, 8. And I just didn't do this one. So here's our, here are our points, so we need to graph them. So the first one is 0, 2. So we're going to start at 0. We don't need to go our, on our x-axis because it's 0. We're going to go up 2, so that's our first point. 1, 5. We're going to go over 1 and up 5, and then 2, 8, over 2, up 8. Okay, then you're going to take your pencil or your straight edge or whatever you're using to draw your line, and you're going to go ahead and draw that line. Okay, so this is the equation for 3x plus 2. So this line is y equals 3x plus 2. That is what the line looks like. Hopefully this has been um, helpful in knowing how to do xy tables. Just remember, um, you're first going to um, make a table. Second, you're going to pick x points. Third, you're going to substitute. Um, the x points in for the, um, in the equation, 
and then 4, you're going to graph the new points. So it's very simple. You just have to follow those steps, and you'll, and you'll be able to do it. If you have any other questions or you're confused, go back and check in your lesson or watch the video again. And if you're still um, confused, make sure you contact your teacher.